Hello friends, my name is Vipin and today I want to show you how to create a new project and run and simulate a very basic VHDL code using Vivado version 2019.2. So let's begin by opening up the Vivado software. So Vivado has opened up, uh, the steps are pretty simple like at the moment. So you have an option called create under create project under quick start. So let's begin by clicking it. Read through this and next. So here we are going to decide what project name you want to have so anything it's up to you just make sure maybe better not to have a, a space in the project name replace it with an underscore sometimes it creates problems so this is just a testing project for me so i'm gonna type test underscore two so the project location is already shown if you click create project subdirectory it's going to create an even further subfolder for your project but i don't want that so i'm going to uncheck this now click next uh, so what kind of project it is so you have a uh, five options let's not worry about the others because uh, we just want to create a simple project and simulate it not going for anything advanced so we click on the rtl project and uh, check the checkbox do not specify sources at this time because we don't have the vhdl files at this moment so when they say sources it means vhdl or verilog whatever files click next which kind of fpga are you going to synthesize this project for so you can either select like detailed part number or you can go to boards and select one of the board which you already have so for now let's select the first one and next the project summary if you are satisfied with it click finish so Vivado is initializing and creating all the basic files required for you to build on top of it. So we have everything opened up here. Now we need some code to test. So instead of writing a code from scratch right now, what I'm going to do is I will go to my blog vhdlguru.blogspot.com and uh, open up example codes section so here i have a list of codes from really basic ones to slightly a bit more complicated so since it's the beginning i just would like to have a very simple code to test so let's test a four to one max so the design code is here pretty small and there is a test punch which we will need for testing the design so we will need to copy both of this so for now let's uh, see what is the name of the entity so multiplexer four underscore one let's copy that so we want to create a source in that name so we click here under sources add sources add or create design sources next create file if you already have the files as vhdl.vht files in your computer you could use this option but i don't have it yet so i am gonna click on create file option okay select the file type yes it's vhdl 
if it's Verilog you could do that with Verilog here file name I would the file the entity name was copied before so I pasted it here multiplexer 4 underscore 1 click OK finish click cancel for now yes so under design sources the file will appear so okay you have the file here double click on it and it will open up here so this is an empty dot vhd files so what i would do is i would copy this whole section of the code control c and control v for pasting so we have the code here all right looks good control s for saving now we have the design code ready at this moment we want to test it so how do we add a simulation source so you have the option simulation source here and what we could do is you could click plus add sources just like before so this time it's the option add or create simulation sources okay next it's just like before create file let's see what file name we have it in the blog so it's written just test bench okay fair enough test bench okay finish just click okay yes so we have the test bench dot vhd file here let's double click and open it so as you can see this is almost like an empty file there are some things but the body is empty so what we are going to do is we go to the blog again copy the contents and select all delete and control v and control s for saving the file so right now we have testbench.phd as the testbench file and the multiplexer 4 underscore 1 as the design file so next step would be to see if the design file is actually working or not so what we are going to do is you go to sources okay everything looks good you see the hierarchy here because testbench comes on the top and uh, multiplexer is port mapped under this so it comes like this you see so what we are going to do is to run simulation we go simulation here and click run simulation run behavioral simulation there are other options but uh, for now we just do behavioral simulation so the waveform window has opened up let's double click here to see how it looks like so to get used to this waveform it might take a bit of time if you are not used to sidings um, isc or anything at all so the list of uh, signals are here so these are all the signals which are in testbench.vhd because that is the top level entity we are uh, we have selected for simulating so these are all the signals which are described there and uh, by default the test bench is run for 1000 nanosecond and we can so it's you can see the scroll bar here it's pretty long so to make it easier for us to look we are gonna zoom out
so we can see the select signal changing here from 0 1 2 and 3 if you want to show it as bits just have to right click on the signal go to radix and click one of these options so i want to show it as binary let's click on binary so it will see like 0 0 0 1 1 0 and 1 1 and so on so when 0 0 is selected the output i0 is mapped to bit out so the 1 comes out here and when 0 1 is selected input i1 is mapped to bit out that is why bit out is 0 here then 1 0 means i2 is mapped to bit out so you can see he here 1 again then 1 1 means i3 is mapped to bit out which explains why you have a 0 here so that's it guys the code is working so i hope you will try it out and uh, see if it is working for you if it's not working please post your comments under this video i would try to help you out thank you have a good day